uh, I'm Mikey Malone, I'm working for Straw Chip in uh, Thai County Kildare. Uh, I came back from New Zealand and uh, there at the start of March and I began working for Straw Chip then. My role for this harvest will be driving the Arcusson which you see behind me. Um, so far we're very impressed with it. The harvest has only really started in the last week or two and the Arcusson has only been out maybe four or five days so far. But first impressions is everyone's happy with it. Three or four men have been replaced. Usually to clear fields here, it took a teleporter in the yard, teleporter in the fields, and at least two tractors and trailers. And now it has already been replaced just by one tractor and one man. And the time it's saving, you might be being in a smaller load, only 16 at a time, but you have to consider your time of loading the bales onto your trailers and tying down, which is a big thing, and rolling straps when you get back to the yard. Now, just when a few scenes to tractor in the morning, you don't have to get over it at all. So the main thing is, is to get the straw home as quick as possible after being baled. The Arcuson has its own hydraulic supply as well, which I think is a great benefit, because you're not getting the back end of your tractor warm, especially when you're on the road all day, um, especially of a warm day. The PTO, on it, you barely only have it taken over, and it's quite sufficient, and you have plenty of power in it, and the hydraulics are very fast so you don't even have to be revving up your tractor in the field. The control box in it is very, very user friendly. Um, most other bale chases, you have joysticks or control, and it's kind of a lot of it is manual, but the arc person, once you get into the field, you flick it into auto, and she'll do everything herself. Once you're lined up and you're correct going into the bale, she'll do the rest herself. For ride comfort across fields, and where there was bad tram lines, especially this year, um, She's just riding across the perfect surface. And um, it was also an extra on this uh, to go off the ball and spoon option, which is a great job, so his I find. Um, especially on the road, there's no chugging. But more so than anything, when you're tipping your load, instead of having your hitch riding the top of the pickup hitch on the tractor, there's no bit of chugging or rising in the hitch at all. Tipping the load, I suppose, that's when you flick it into the manual mode. Uh, that took a bit of getting used to, alright. Now look, I was new to the job, I never drove a chaser before. But once you get used to it and get a feel for it, it's very straightforward again. The main reason, I suppose, that Straw Chip did decide to go with the r and was its ease of being able to change bale size um, towards other competitors in the market. Um, everything here when it comes to bale, size, um, bale size can be changed to the cab and on the screen and the bale sizes that are being used here are either 4x3s or 4x4s so your actual table doesn't have to be changed at all you only change your settings in the screen it's just the speed that you're able to clear fields maybe not ground speed in the field and things like that but it's just the actual pace that you're getting bales into the yard once the bales go onto the yard and you're loaded up and you're out you're gone you're on the road before you realize and that's a great saving and your load is safe as well like you're not watching in your mirrors or that section going to slip or is there a load lying this way or that way. I suppose come back to me at the end of the season and I'll have a better picture and I'll tell you exactly what I think of the Arcuson. But so far, so good. And hopefully when you do come back to me, that opinion won't be after changing by then.